Race to the Skies, Custom Coaster International and Great Coaster Internationals, Episode 12. Hi folks, it's T and Tom from Show Me Coasters. Today we're looking at two of the most beloved wooden coaster designer company in recent history. Uh, the first one is Custom Coasters International and the second one is Great Coasters International. First let's look at Custom Coasters International. This uh, company is no longer with us. It lasts only from 1991 to 2002. This company started uh, by the daughter of Charles Din, Denise Din, picture here on the left. After the Din Corporation folded, she took uh, a few of the employees and started this company. Uh, as of today, this is for a short period of time. It was one of the most premier wooden roller coasters in the world, producing 34 wooden coasters. Out of those 34 coasters that they built, only three have been actually demolished, and two of them have been converted, converted over to, to RMC. Scene. Uh, a lot of, yeah, a lot of them are still in existence. And and we are lucky at Six Flags St. Louis, Louis, we, we have, have the boss, boss, which is a uh, CCI creation. But, now let's oh. let's look at their business uh, practice. Yeah, a lot of these uh, coasters made by uh, custom coasters ain't, weren't very expensive. Usually cost between two and six millions and made it uh, affordable for a lot of the smaller parks. And there's a reason why it's so cheap. Do you want to elaborate on that, Tom? Yeah. Yeah, by using the cheapest materials that they could find, it's really become to where the CCIs are notoriously for being really high maintenance. Yeah, it, it, it is a nightmare for uh, these aging uh, C, uh, CCI coasters. Just like the DIN, if you're familiar with the uh, was a Timberwolf and World of Fun, it looks like you know the root is half rot. But this is the business practice that she inherited from her father, and it, in my thinking, it was probably responsible for bankrupting the company. Yeah, they had a lot of problems paying off their creditors. Um, for example, PTC made all the trains for uh, the uh, CCI coasters, um, and it got to where CCI or where PTC didn't want to make the the train for them because they wouldn't get paid unless the park purchased the trains directly from PTC. Yeah. So that is the history, a brief history of Custom Coaster International. Yeah, um, in 2002, Denise, uh, after the company folded, she did try to work for S&S and launch their wooden coaster department. And uh, unfortunately, they... after four, <laughs> go ahead. After four coasters, they folded that division. Uh, they weren't as popular as their uh, steel They're... coasters that they were producing. So let's take a look at the second company we were going to talk about, and that's Great Coasters International. Or belovedly called GCI. GCI was founded in 1994 by Mike Bloodley and Claire Haynes Jr. Uh, prior to opening uh, Great Coasters International, Mike Bloodley worked for CCI, uh, Coasters, Cust or Custom Coasters, Coasters International. Um, and he left there even prior to them going bankrupt to start GCI. And they're based out of Sunbury, Pennsylvania. In 1996, um, GCI opened the uh, Wildcat at Hershey, Hershey Park. Park yeah. That was their first coaster, and it really features a lot of the same elements that they're well known for, such as their uh, curve there's, drop. Yeah, there's four things that uh, GCI is known for: the curve drops, mm -hmm. the sweeping curve, and uh, the stature about 100 feet, and also the train, the uh, Millennium, Millennium Flyer. Flyer train. So this is. Uh, American Thunder at Six Flags St. Louis, just to give you a glimpse, you almost recognize this, folks. You're at an amusement park and you see these small wooden coasters that's about 100 feet and drops to the left or the right, not a straight drop. It's probably a GCI. And the train, 
uh, has a uh, cushion that uh, made to be comfortable for the public. Yeah, these are the most comfortable trains I've ever ridden on on any roller coaster. And they were one of the most wooden, and usually wooden coasters are rough, but GCI, it can be rough, but usually a not. A little bit rough, yeah, but yeah, yeah usually they're very smooth. Yeah. And they handle, they age well too. Yeah, they age very well. I think the worst one that we've been on was probably Roar at Six Flags That's, America. Yeah. And, but that was using, I think, had the uh, Philadelphia yeah, Toboggan tra Coaster train, yeah. train on That's it. That's one of the few GCI that don't, uh, don't have their own train. One of the other things that the uh, GCIs are really well known for is their ejector airtime. Uh, this is Prowler at Kansas City's Worlds of Fun. I remember riding this a couple of days ago. Yeah. I, I was off the seat a lot. Oh, and man. And, and you're off the seat as you're going around these curves, these too. These sweeping curves, it's yeah. Incredibly awesome ride. Um, another one that does this a lot is uh, Mystic the Timbers Timber in at, at Kings, Kings Island. Island. Folks, another thing that uh, GCI does is they do retract um, these old coasters that's made by other company. They also provide... Uh, the the train like here, Ghost Rider Knott's Berry Farm they retrack and retrain the the old coasters. And the another one that they did recently was Worlds of Fun. They removed the Helix from uh, Timberwolf in 2018 and yeah. uh, retracked the ride. And... and this part it just feels so you knew it was a GCI. It just seemed so much. This transition was so much smoother. Yeah, this was a lot smoother. So, folks, that's going to be it looking at the uh, Custom Coasters International and Greater, Great Coaster International. So the next time you're out at amusement park, uh, enjoy these wooden coasters. I know Custom Coaster Inc. Um, International, their coasters are start to age. I don't know how many of them are going to still stand before there are a lot of them being RMC. But definitely enjoy the... The GCI, the, the, I think these will be around. This company could be around forever. Yeah, the thing about GCI is whenever you see the coaster from the ground, it doesn't really look, look all uh, that I'm impressive. impressive. But, but, but once it, you ride it, it, it it's a, a total surprise. Yeah. yeah, it packs a punch. So this is T. And I'm Tom, and we're from Show Me Coasters. And have a good night. Thanks, and have a great night.